Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Series 2 of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Discount Truck. Alrighty, everybody. Hope you are having a good day. I know I am. Get to unbox some Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. That's always a good day. But uh, yeah, so today, got a lot to cover before we start here. First off, my camera's crooked. That's not a good way to start this. Uh, second off, I am sitting in a pitch black room currently. And the reason why is because I have new studio lighting. So I don't know if you guys like it or not. Let me know in the comments down below if it works. But hopefully, like when I show off the vehicles and whatnot, it shows them off in a better light. Because current my old, I was using the lighting in my room. But because this box has sides, it would create a lot of shadows. So I'm hoping this new studio lighting really does a good job to illuminate those shadows. We shall see when the time comes. Anyway, that's the that's pretty much the only thing I really got to say here. I mean, I've made a lot of changes I uh, to the channel here. Like if you look in the description of this video, I changed it. It's a bit different than how it was before. Nothing too big, but a lot ha or a little bit has changed down there in the description. Um, some other changes I made were like the studio lighting of course and then another change that i am also making it hasn't happened yet but it is going to happen soon is um i'm going to be working on some trailers and whatnot for some stuff i got going on the channel which of course you will see when the time comes but uh anyway yeah uh if you're confused on what the schedule is all about down there just keep in mind two videos every at least i'm going to do two unboxing videos every week still and then a third video will happen from time to time on certain weeks. Uh, just whatever. And as you can see, there's three different things down there it could possibly be. Uh, the third video during the week could be anything from a diecast race to a mini documentary to a uh, uh, what's in the box video, which I am bringing those back as well as the sign up series. So I hope you sign up series and the uh, what's the other one I used to do? Diecast Derby. You're going to be bringing all those back, which is awesome. Anyway. Let's get things started here with this unboxing. We're going to be taking a look at, yet again, those Hot Wheels Monster Trucks discount trucks that we reviewed a while back here on the channel. We're bringing them back with Series 2. As of right now, this is the newest series. They haven't done another series of these as of late. So I'm glad I got my hands on all six of these. There are six instead of four this time. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first one we're going to be looking at here. And we're going to do them in alphabetical order because that's kind of the way the case is set up. So the first one we're going to look at here is Five Alarm. Five Alarm is actually one of my more favorite Hot Wheels Monster Trucks designs because I feel like even though Five Alarm is a Hot Wheels car itself, I feel like the Monster Truck design works really well. It looks really good in my opinion. And according to what we've been hearing, this is the next truck that is scheduled to come out in real life on the uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Tour. So we may get to see what the real life version of this one looks like, which is pretty exciting. I know they're not going to be able to capture all the detail of the truck, but I hope they do get most of it because Five Alarm is a really cool fire truck design. But uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get this thing unpackaged. Now, if you may remember from the last time I did a video on these things, the packaging is a bit goofy in order to... Uh, do the package oh they changed it never mind i was gonna say there's like this weird piece of tape that you gotta undo but the piece of tape is in a different spot now so it makes it really easy to get it off so that is that is great i am happy about that so let's just peel that off and get our little piece of plastic undone here and we will uh, get this thing opened up soon as I can get the piece of plastic off, which I'm struggling with. All right, there we go. So there's the piece of plastic. Let me get this piece of tape off my pants. And then, yeah, let's get her open. So you just grab at the bottom here and you pull up. And that'll open her right up. Um, because these are the discount trucks, there's no like accessories or anything with these. So won't have to go over any of that. However, if any of these trucks do exist in real life, I will, of course, throw in a little video of the truck nice and fast so that way you guys can see that. I don't know what there is on my studio right now, but it feels like there's little pebbles. And every time I set my hand down, it feels like something sharp pokes into my finger. That's uh, a skill issue. Anyway, here is the five alarm. 
and I can tell already this new studio lighting isn't working exactly how I would have intended. So let me try something here. Ooh, 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 I'm doing something, doing something here. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that works. That is awesome. Okay, so we might do that for the studio lighting now. That is cool. So now you can see all the detail on the side here. Uh, five alarm, we got the, uh, we've got a, like a dark uh, crimson red body, uh, black chassis and roll cage setup, as well as black tires and black rims. Um, and then we got a little white insert piece for the ladder as well. Right off the bat, the first thing I noticed is that compared to last time, the last trucks that we looked at in this series all had sticker decals. Well, not all of them. I think Mega Rex actually had paint on him. But all of the trucks had sticker decals. Most of them did anyways. These ones do not. This is actually painted onto the truck, which is awesome. I'm glad that they made that change because I don't like stickers because after a while they begin to peel off and then causes problems. This, however, is painted on. So let's take a look at the details on the side of the truck. Starting from back to front, we've got the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo, a 68, excuse me, and then HWMTFD, which stands for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department. And then if you look, you can see some flames as well. Same thing here, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department, uh, as well as Hot Wheels Fire there on that little piece right there that I can't exactly, right there, Hot Wheels Fire. And of course, you got the flames as well. It's always funny because in like the Monster Truck Collecting Group, everybody always post pictures of five alarm here because they keep thinking that because of that symbol that means it's rare which in most cases yes if you do see that symbol on a hot wheels vehicle it is because it is a rare vehicle but in this case it's not that truck is there that symbol is always on this truck so it's always interesting to see because it, it tricks everybody almost looking at the front end we've got zero detail other than the molded detail so i'm not going to talk about that too much this side is just mirrored so again there's all that detail there on the side panel, but none of it has changed from the other side, except I did now notice, yeah. Okay, so on this side, and I don't know why this is, but if you look, the 68 on this side is bigger, and on top of that, the flames are also bigger on this side, which is interesting. So it's got a bit of a split, a split paint job there. The back end has what appears to be an oxygen tank on it, and that's about it. And then flipping up to the top, you can see that ladder piece, which looks really cool with the hose built into it and the pressure tank for the hose. Uh, flipping over here, you can see that it does say Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department there, as well as having the 68 with the blacked out Hot Wheels logo. Got the five alarm symbol there painted on the roof with the flames as well. And it, the ladder covers all like the mechanisms with the engine and whatnot there. So yeah, that is five alarm, our first monster truck that we're going to look at in today's video. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have Bone Shaker. Now this is interesting because it's not the Bone Shaker that we looked at in the last video, um, which was black. This one's the red Bone Shaker. Again, a truck that doesn't exist in real life yet, but, you know. Actually, the funny thing is, is that this is supposed to be a red Bone Shaker, but now that I'm actually looking at it in person, it appears to be orange, which is interesting. Seems to be a recolor of a version of Bone Shaker that we've already gotten with the... Uh, the red so yeah uh i can't <laughs> apparently five alarm was the only one that had the tape where it was so uh, this one might take me a second to open but uh, yeah so i only really i want to clarify this because i have been, actually been asked this by a couple of people but i only show videos in monster truck videos if they are the exact ver if the truck i'm showing off on camera is the exact version of a truck that has existed in real life so the reason why after even though i've got bone shaker here and i ain't showing a video of bone shaker is because there is no red slash orange bone shaker in real life only the black one exists in real life so that's why i didn't show a video of it and in the last uh spin master video i did i had uh alien invasion but it was the inverted alien invasion with the green body. And like I said, that's not the one that existed in real life. So I didn't, I didn't show a video of that one of alien invasion, even though that truck does exist. 
So, well, I mean it used to. I think it went into retirement. Here is Bone Shaker. So Bone Shaker has an orange body with a black roll cage and chassis set up as well as the black tire and rims. And of course, there's a little gray insert piece for the front end. So looking at the side panel here, uh, it says Hot Wheels there. Uh, it's a weird Hot Wheels logo. I, I forget what they call that specific Hot Wheels logo in that little box back there. Looking at the side panel, you can see Bone Shaker, Hot Wheels. You got the skull there, which looks really cool with them fangs. And then, of course, you got the Moss Trucks and Hot Wheels logo sort of embossed into the side there, which looks really cool. Uh, flipping over to this side, it is exactly the same. Nothing changed, though. Nothing too much to talk about. The famous front end of Bone Shaker with the, uh, the mouth there with the headlights and the hands. And then, of course, you've got the really cool looking, uh, I forget, zoomies right there. And then, of course, the stacks coming out the, over the hood, which looks really cool. Another detail that I think is interesting about this one is the roof. It is blacked out. I'm not sure why it's blacked out with that insert or paint job right there. That is kind of weird. Uh, like I said, I have no clue why that is. I could take a guess, but I don't know if I'm going to be right. Uh, in the world of like Hot Wheels die cast, there are two different types of bone shaker. There are There's a hard top one and then there's an open top one. I don't know off the top of my head because the red bone shaker that this paint scheme is inspired off of it might be an open top bone shaker and that's why they black this out. I don't know. And then if you look in the back, there is the fuel tank and the battery set up there, which is really cool. Tailgate has nothing on it. So yeah, there you go. That is orange bone shaker. The second one that we're going to look at in today's video. Did anybody just see that spider that just went by? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now we're on to truck number three. This is Race Ace. Had to pause the video there so you guys could uh, see that little clip of the real life Race Ace. This truck does actually exist in real life. Uh, it was the replacement truck for Hot Wheels Racing number one. Because uh, back when Hot Wheels first started doing their own custom monster trucks line, they had Hot Wheels Racing one through four. And those trucks were super duper cool and all, but they were really basic. They really didn't have much to them. So uh, all four of those were pretty much replaced by Race Ace here. Race Ace is the the encompassment. It's all five or it's all uh, all four of them put together, I guess. I think if I'm not mistaken, I read somewhere that if you look at all four, like Hot Wheels Racing 1, 2, 3, and 4, there is a piece of all four of those trucks embedded somewhere into the design of this truck. I have not looked carefully enough to verify if that's true, but I'm pretty sure this oh, this piece right here is Hot Wheels Racing 1. Because I remember Hot Wheels Racing 1 having just the H on Hot Wheels on the roof. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that's true. Or, I don't know if it's true or not. I read that somewhere and I cannot verify if that is true. Anyway, here is Race Ace with the trophy truck body. Pretty cool design. I love the way this one turned out. I love the, the paint on it. The paint is really solid and turned out absolutely amazing. I really cannot complain about that. That is super duper good. Uh, we got a blue body, uh, black roll cage and chassis, as well as black rims and tires. Looks really, really good. And if we look at the side panel here, you can see Race Ace, which is on an orange stripe there, meant to represent Hot Wheels track. 68, you got the H on the Hot Wheels logo there with the flames, as well as the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo there. Flipping up to this top, you can see that it's got the Hot Wheels logo going all the way down, which is really cool. And then there are some stripes here in orange, meant to, again, represent the ra the track. Race A68, and there are some white lightning bolts, which look really cool. This side is just a mirror of the other side, so I'm not going to go into huge detail with it. Got the front end, of course. Ooh, wheelie. Got the back end, and then, of course, you've got the uh, uh, the tailgate there, or the, the uh, bed. So, yeah. Again, this one is pretty neat. I definitely, I don't want to say it's my favorite one that exists in real life, but it is definitely one of my more favorite of the actual Hot Wheels Monster Trucks live fleet of trucks. And I do, I do like this a lot more than the Hot Wheels Racing uh, trucks. 
one, two, three, and four, they all felt so similar. And I never, I never really understood what they were going for. They just felt like filler trucks. Even Hot Wheels Racing 1 felt like a filler truck to me. Even though it was one of the original eight monster trucks that came out, I still feel like it really wasn't that important. But yeah, Race Ace here is definitely an upgrade from Hot Wheels Racing 1. I will say that. Anyway, here's the turntable. Alrighty, truck number four is Shark Reek. Now, I know what you're thinking. It doesn't say Shark Reek. If you look, it says Lava Shark on the card. And the reason why it says Lava Shark is because, believe it or not, every version of this truck that was produced had this misprint on it. This is meant to be Shark Reek because this is Shark Reek is the truck that has this body with the paint scheme on it. So, yeah. Bit of a misprint on Hot Wheels' part there, but that's that's fine. I'm not going to complain too much about it. But I am going to complain about something, though, as I open this. I've probably said this before on my channel, but if I haven't, I'm going to say it now. I think that the... I, the, I think that Shark Monster Trucks are the most overused and most overrated designs ever. I don't understand what it is with Sharks. I don't get it. Every, almost every single monster truck team across the entire uh, United States, as well as every single die cast line, has a form of a shark monster truck. I don't get why. It's, and they don't look good either. They all look exactly the same. They're either the exact same body or the exact same paint job as a truck that's already been created. I don't understand why. Now, on Hot Wheels' part, I am going to say this. I do think that out of every single shark monster truck that has ever been created, every single one of them, this is the best. The real life ones, the toys, this is the coolest one that they've ever made. Hands down. And I will fight anybody who says I'm wrong because let's face it, Megalodon, that's a basic truck. There's nothing there. That is just a, that could be, you could literally write great white shark on the side of that and it would fly as a great white shark because there is literally nothing deeming that as a Megalodon. Take Shark Bite, for example, the team, the team two extreme truck. That one's actually got a neat paint job, but it's still just a basic shark. There's nothing there. Shark Attack, uh, which I think belongs to Outlaw Extreme. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, there's one called Shark Attack. It's blue. That one could work, but I feel like, once again, it doesn't have a unique enough body to work. It's just the paint scheme is what makes that one interesting, not the body. Then you've got Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live with Tiger Shark. Yeah, the, the, the idea, Tiger Shark is cool, but I don't like the body on that one. It doesn't work well. There's a lot here that just doesn't, I don't know. I, I, I don't like the sharks. I think the sharks are boring, but that's just me. And then next up is to talk about dinosaurs and how dinosaurs are the most overused thing. I'm kidding. Dinosaur monster trucks are actually cool. Like Team Throttle Monster with Jurassic Attack and Velociraptor. Those are freaking awesome. Thunder Roarus with Monster Jam. Awesome. Mega Rex with Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. Awesome. The dinosaur trucks are actually really cool. As of right now... I feel like after everybody's done making shark monster trucks, dinosaurs are going to be the next big thing, and I'm not excited about it. It's kind of like when their, uh, monster truck teams all went through the phase of making just basic trucks, just like pickup trucks with normal paint schemes on them. Wasn't a fan of that. I really wasn't, but that's just me. The, the oversimplified phase, is, I think, is the name for it. But anyway, this is Shark Reek, the coolest of the sharks, the best of the sharks. Now, we've got a black body with a black roll cage and chassis setup, black tires and rims. Now, the there really isn't too much to talk about detail-wise here because it's the same thing across the whole truck. This truck has goes from white to red, white, yellow, orange, red, and it's just flames. That is the whole design of the truck, just flames. Of course, with blue uh, window painted on here. And there's some white trim here that almost acts as eyelids. But yeah, that is this whole truck. It is so basic yet so effective it works so well because let me ask you something 
Have you ever seen a shark with this paint job? No, you haven't. How many shark how many shark moss trucks have you seen with the Megalodon paint job? I can think of at least three off the top of my head. This idea is so unique and they could totally use this. And honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. When it comes to companies and the shark moss trucks, I think Hot Wheels wins it easily. Tiger Shark is cool, kind of basic, but cool. Shark Reek is basic, but awesome. It looks amazing. Shark Shock, which is an army themed shark. That one looks cool. Cyborg Shark, which is a robotic shark. That one's cool. All of those would work amazingly as real life trucks. If I found out tomorrow that Megalodon was being taken off of the Monster Jam uh, tour and being replaced by any of the trucks I just named off of, as well as long as they could get the Hot Wheels license for it, I'd be amazed because those would be such good replacements. And I know it sounds like I'm just slinging hate at Megalodon, kind of because I am, because of how basic the truck is. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a fan of Shark Monster trucks. I think that they are just so basic. And you could do something like Hammerhead Shark or something like that that no one has ever seen before. But no, it's just the same thing every single time. But anyway, here's the turntable for Shark Reek. All right. Now, I'm sure you can see why I want to make a uh, video documentary series here on the channel to talk about things like that, because I just spent five minutes explaining why shark monster trucks suck when I could, you know, spend an entire video doing that instead. So, yeah, that's kind of why I'm starting that series on the channel is to kind of cut time out of my videos where I complain about stuff for, you know, five minutes straight. But anyway, here is the next truck. This truck is to school. It is Hot Wheels' school bus design. Um, personally, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys here. I feel like this truck would be a lot cooler if it had a little bit more color in it. You know, I, I feel like just the straight up black and white pencil design is cool, but it doesn't like captivate completely. It needs more. But what, a bit, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what noise I just made. That was weird. Um, but I am going to be completely honest with you guys. I do think two school is a really cool concept. I do like the idea of just a school bus, a modern day looking school bus, rather than like higher education. Well, higher education kind of has a modern look to it, but not really. Uh, and then there was uh, driving school, which they made when they were a part of Hot Wheel or part of Monster Jam. There's a lot of, again, school buses were another thing that was really uh, popular. It, wa it wasn't as big as the whole shark thing that's been going on recently, but uh, the school buses were a thing that I wish, I, I wish we could see more of. Every company... Most companies seem to have a school bus now. We've got higher education, which is really cool. Driving school was created back when uh, they were a part of Monster Jam. They also had uh, Expelled, which was another school bus, same casting. Surf and school bus, same casting, just with surfboards on the top and a different paint job. Uh, I think there's one I'm missing. I talked about higher education. We got this one here, which is called Two School, which is the Hot Wheels one. I really like this one. I think it's great. And then there is the Spin Master one that just came out recently called Fuel Academy, which on the which <laughs> namesake wise, I think Fuel Academy is a terrible name for that truck, but just because it doesn't roll off the tongue whatsoever. And it it's kind of confusing, but I still think the truck is neat. But I I think to I think if it was a battle, came down to it like a design battle on which one was better between Two School and uh, Fuel Academy, I'd pick Two School. I think Two School is a lot cooler. But like I said, my only complaint with this truck is that it lacks color. It needs color, but that's just me. So looking at the body here, we have like a uh, sun dried or, or yellow <laughs> woo, orange. <laughs> we have a sun dried yellow color here for the body. Uh, black uh, roll cage chassis, and then we've got black tires and black rims as well. So again, here we go. Another truck I think would be really cool to see in real life, but I'm not going to get go down the tirade of this one. So we got the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo back there. Two School is really fuzzy on the side of this. The decals for this one are really fuzzy. Excuse me. Two School written on the side there. You got the Hot Wheels logo in there as well with flames and the number 68. All the windows are blacked out. This side is exactly the same. Um, I really wish they would have printed some form of, yeah, 
Well, the world. Oh, okay. I really wish they would have printed some form of like stop sign on this because, you know, most school buses have stop signs on them. Right? I, I don't know why, but I couldn't remember if like, I was like, do modern day school buses still have the stop signs on them? Like, I couldn't remember. Um, Hot Wheels logo there in yellow. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks to school there. And then, of course, we've got these blacked out flames right here with the number 68. That is not centered, but I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah. And the top is white. I do like that, that the top of the truck is white. I, I always thought that that was cool. And the reason why I think that's cool is because if you look, the ridges in the roof make it look like a sheet of paper, like a sheet of lined paper, and you got like the sketches on it. I like that little detail. And the white, the white roof does not take away from this design. It looks cool. I like the white roof. It fits in and it actually kind of has a little detail to it. That's really neat. But anyway, yeah, that is to school the school bus. Only one more truck to go. This is the most interesting of them all here. And will, funnily enough, it is called Will Trash It All. This is the first, well, that's not true. I was going to say it's the first. It's not. It's the second ever die cast garbage truck monster truck. The third, of course, which is coming out from Spin Master this year, is called uh, Crush Cycle. Again, Spin Master, your city vehicles have such weird names. Why would you name it cr Crush Cycle? I get what they were going for with, like, Recycle, but Crush Cycle. It just doesn't... I would have named it something like Rev Cycle. That, uh, that doesn't sound... Roar, Roar Cycle? I don't... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to quit complaining about Spin Master because now that I'm trying to rename their trucks, I'm not succeeding. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I will say this though. I feel like all the I feel like the good name for a uh, hot or for like a monster trucks or for like a monster truck uh, garbage truck was taken away by Hot Wheels because they made a diecast garbage truck called Total Disposal, which I think is a kick butt name for a monster truck. If you were to do a garbage truck monster truck, I feel like Total Disposal is an awesome name for it. Like that is. That is such a cool name, but we'll stick with this. This is Will Trash It All, and I do think, I do think this is a cool name. It's a bit lengthy, but I do think it's a neat name for this truck. But yeah, so we got an orange body. Hold on, I got to test something. Oh no, no, I'm gonna be sad. Yeah, dang it, that sucks. Okay, I'll explain what I'm doing here in a second. So yeah, we got an orange body, black roll cage and chassis, and of course, black rims and tires. Uh, the self-loader on the side is also in black as well. And then kind of looking at side details here on the cab, says we'll trash it all with a blue stripe and a black stripe. And there's a miniature Hot Wheels logo above the we'll trash it all. Back here, same thing, we'll trash it all, miniature Hot Wheels logo, except this time we got caution tape and silver trim. And then of course, looking at the little symbols there, we got Hot Wheels monster trucks. White, a white Hot Wheels logo, a white Roger Dodger is what that looks like, and then a white recycling logo that is made out of Hot Wheels logos. That is a cool little detail. I absolutely love that. Flip over to the other side. It is the exact same thing except mirrored. This side, this time we've got what appears to be like dump controls over here with the ladder. That's really cool. Love that. Flip up to the top. You can see all the mechanism for the crushing mechanism that's back here. And then, of course, you've got the back hatch as well. What I'm sad about here is that on the 164 diecast truck, this back hatch actually opens and closes. And so I was really, really hoping that that, that, that would uh, do that on the mini one, but I guess not. And then here's the front end with the grill and headlights. Yeah, so a uh, little upset that there's no, like, functioning uh, dumper, but I do think this is absolutely amazing. They really did capture how cool this one is, the wheel trash at all. Looks absolutely amazing in this tiny little scale. I'm so glad they did this. But anyway, yeah, that's the final truck. Uh, let's get the turntable and close out this video. So yeah, guys, there you go. That's all six of them put together right there. 
All right. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know it was uh, a lot of ranting, a lot more than usual, but uh, yeah. Uh, I do think these are cool. All six of these are amazing, and I love the fact that they're no longer stickers. I love that they actually did details. My three favorites out of all of these are probably Race Ace, Shark Reek, and Will Trash It All. For sure, those trucks are actually really, really cool looking in this tiny scale. They really copied the detail over. Uh, Orange Bone Shaker was a really interesting choice, in my opinion. I'm not quite sure why they did that one, but it's there. Why not, I guess? Two School, I feel like, I, like I said, isn't really the scale itself. It's it, the Truck in general just needs more color. I feel like if they made it look like, you know, kind of did like splotchy crayon, li crayon lines. Crayon. Eh, if they... Because they got the pencil on there. If they really wanted to make it look like a school bus, they could also do like uh, colorful doodles, but make them look splotchy like they use a wax crayon. crayon. God, oh my God. <laughs> I seem to have picked up an accent from somewhere. I don't know why. But uh, And then if you, on the end there, five alarm. That one's really cool. I You really can't fix anything about that one because it's practically perfect. I just don't like, I don't prefer that truck over the other three that I just named, but that one's definitely fourth place. But yeah. So that is all six of them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video, which is Hot Wheels Cars. Peace out.